What's going on guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan battle video today. So as some of you may or may not know, LR Gohan's featured banner is dropping on Global tonight at 10.30 Pacific Standard Time or tomorrow morning at 2.30 AM Eastern Standard Time. Now this video is intended to help those of you who are unsure about whether or not you should be summoning on his banner. If you're new to the channel then you probably don't know. The LR Gohan is a unit that is very near and dear to my heart because it literally took me thousands and thousands of stones to pull my first copy of him. Ever since he was first released on Global on the second year anniversary waifu banner, on which of course I did not pull him, I have chased him on every subsequent banner that he was on until I finally pulled him on the Intite banner a couple months ago. For the longest time, this guy was revered as the hardest hitting unit in all of Dokkan, but he has since been dethroned by newer units like LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Tech Vegito Blue. Don't get me wrong though, he still hits very hard. In fact, he is currently the third hardest hitting non Dokkan Fest LR behind LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and LR Broly on a Resurrected Warriors team. So what we're going to do now is quickly cover three things. One, what does the card actually do? Two, what will his banner most likely look like? And three, what teams can you run him on? Sounds good? Alright, let's get this party started then with a look at the card itself. LR Gohan is the OG in type lead, which means he gives all in types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Both his 12 key and 18 key super attacks are father, son, Kamehameha. They both cause mega colossal damage, and the 18 key super also raises his attack by 50% for one turn. As far as I know, he is the only LR that has a Mega Colossal Damage Multiplier on both of his super attacks. His passive is what makes him so freaking insane. He gets an additional 18% attack for every key sphere obtained, which I believe is the highest percentage in the game, and he also gets an additional plus one key for every key sphere obtained as well. This pretty much guarantees that he will always get his 18 key super off. He has a very strong link set with Super Saiyan, Gaze of Respect, Kamehameha, Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. He currently fits in two categories, Hybrid Saiyans, and Full Power, which probably won't be on Global for another 5-6 to six months at the minimum. So yeah, LR Gohan pretty much only has one job, and he does it very, very well. He will deal a crap load of damage for you. Now let's take a look at the banner that was on JP. Keep in mind that there could be changes on the Global version, but it won't be anything drastic. The banner featured LR Gohan, Tech Kid Gohan on Icarus, Physical SSJ2 Saiyaman, uh, AGL Bojack, AGL Ultimate Gohan, Int Turles, Physical Super Saiyan Gohan, Int Super Saiyan Gohan, AGL Super Saiyan 2 Kid Gohan, Physical Ultimate Gohan, uh, STR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Youth, Int Perfect Cell, and 4 SRs. So I don't know about you guys, but besides the LR Gohan, these featured units don't exactly do it for me, but that's to be expected of these banners. Like I said before, you're only here for the LR and that's it. Of course, all the other non Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs are also unfeatured in this banner as well. Lastly, let's go over the teams. As far as Global goes, his best team right now is Hybrid Saiyans. He can also be run on Super Int, Patara, and Heroes. Like I said earlier, we most likely won't be able to see a full power category on Global until December at the earliest. Overall, LR Gohan is still an incredible unit that anyone would be lucky to have on their account, but I'm sure you can tell that I'm not as high on him as I was on LR Goku Black. LR Goku Black only does slightly less damage than LR Gohan on average, and he can also tank, heal, and fits on more top tier teams. To decide whether or not you should be summoning for LR Gohan, you need to go back to your own box and see if you can build a solid team around him. If you need him to complete your Hybrid Saiyans or Super Int team, and you have the stones to spare, then by all means, go for it. However, in my opinion, the average player will probably want to save their stones for a better banner in the future. Anyways, that's all from me. If you do decide to summon for LR Gohan, I wish you the best of luck. Hope you guys found the video useful. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But as always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.